The Jacksonville Jaguars are going to be a good team this year. Really good team. Now they're in the AFC. So we'll find out, really find out quickly um, when it comes to just how good they're going to be. If you're new to our channel, we make videos for teams that are ignored by the national media. Jacksonville Jaguars, definitely one of those teams. They're got the coach, got the quarterback, players all around. But no one's really talking about them. But we are on this channel. And we're Detroit Lions fans. So we know all about being ignored. Usually it's for good reason because we're terrible. But now we're actually getting talked about a lot. It's kind of weird. But before we get started, let us know in the comments if you hadn't had a chance. Last video, Jacksonville Jaguars video, we asked you, who is your favorite all-time Jacksonville Jaguar that doesn't get enough love? Right? I mean, probably Mark Brunel, right, or something like that. But no, somebody that you like, you know who I love that nobody really talks about? Let me know in the comments. So the Jacksonville Jaguars made a really smart move uh, this offseason. And, and what they did was they played their starters a little bit more. They actually... They actually did um, go 3-0 and in the preseason. Again, it doesn't matter, but it kind of does when you're just trying to win and be dominant, and they've dominated the Lions actually in preseason <laughs> number two. I mean, just dominated the Lions, twos against twos primarily. But what they did that I thought's really smart was Cam Robinson, left tackle who is just critical to the success of the Jacksonville Jaguars. They played him quite a bit in the preseason games, and – it's a great idea because, remember, he's suspended for the first four games. So you may think, hey, no, don't get him work. In fact, get the other guy's work that will be taking his place. And if you look at it here, Walker Little, Antoine Harrison, Joshua, like get these other tackles going. But no, they play Cam Robinson, start him right out there, get him reps, and it was a standout night for him in the third preseason. And so Cam Robinson made his second consecutive start at left tackle. Peterson saying he played really well. He did not play well against the, the Detroit Lions, actually. So it didn't play well as normal in preseason week number two against the Detroit Lions. The goal is to, coming into camp to give him a lot of reps. Let him play because we know the suspension is coming. So they really want to put a load on him. That's what... That's what Dan Campbell calls it, where you really get stress them out, a little stress test them. And they did it with Robinson. I think that's a great idea. And they also really came out and dominated in the preseason just in general. So I'll get to that in just a second, about how they really set the tone for their season in the preseason, which you don't see very often. He really rebounded from the Detroit game. Detroit game. I didn't think he played his best. He knew that. He bounced back tonight. It was a tough situation because it was kind of a late decision to go with him as starter, but he embraced it. He did a nice job, very consistent, and really the cam of old that we all know he can be showed up tonight. Love that. And a couple other standouts just from Jacksonville. They had the decision. There was an injury, and they decided to just call it quits. Absolutely the right decision. Let's call it the last like, you know, that you're not going to decide players or another quarter of football or whatever. Um, it, it doesn't matter. It, they, they already know who they're cutting and keeping. Another five minutes wouldn't matter. Ridley, we've made a video on this. And again, I'm going to get to why what, what they did in, it, just in general in the, in the preseason was so impressive. But Ridley, we've made videos on this. Don't forget about him. He's coming back. Kind of the theme of our channel and the whole thing with the Jacksonville is like everybody just kind of wrote him off, wrote the Jags off, like whatever. They're going to be really, really good. Ridley, um, this guy is incredible. Craig did a video on him, just what he was doing before his suspension. Crazy. Running the ball well. Man, these guys are good. ETN, I got my eye on him. He was really good last year. Only going to grow on that, right? So running game's good. And Peterson, just in general, on the second season, kind of what he's looking at. And he says, look, it's the right guys in the locker room, quite frankly. A lot of guys returning from last year, they know how we operate when it comes to practice and training camp. I make it as difficult as I can on them during training camp. They embrace it, and they did a nice job. I'm very proud of everybody in training camp. It's the leadership in the locker room that really shows up in year two. So speaking of just training camp, preseason, their overall mindset and what they did, the Jacksonville Jags came out and decided we're going to kind of set the tone and go a little harder in preseason games. And everybody approaches preseason games a little bit differently. Some don't ever play their, their starters. Some don't ever play their starting quarterback. Some do a little mix. Jacksonville did a little bit of starters, but for the most part, they just said, we're going to come out and just play hard and dominate. And our twos are going to dominate and our threes. I mean, it's like unbelievable. So when the lions played the, the Jags, 
I mean, it was it was total domination by the Jaguars in that game. Now, again, it's twos and threes. You don't, you know, so we don't play the game with twos and threes. You play your with your ones, and those guys rotate. Hello, I've, obviously, we know this, but to come out and really establish yourself as a team that, like, look, we're not the same old Jags. We're not going to get pushed around. We're going to build off what we did last year. Do not forget, we went to the playoffs and won a playoff game. Hello. Right. Because Detroit, everyone's excited about Detroit. I get it. But at the same time, Dan Campbell keeps saying we we didn't go to the playoffs or win a playoff game. Like, let's not forget that Jacksonville's actually got real stuff to build on. I love what they did that. So it's a smart move to just let's go. Let's keep this momentum foot down, foot on the gas and let's win in preseason and let's keep rolling. I love playing the starters. I love playing Cam Robinson. It's just a little little nuances that Doug Peterson and why he's just a good coach. He's a good coach. And they've got the Netflix Netflix special on the untold of the Florida Gators. And you get to see urban Meyer and the way he operates. It's like, no, no, no crap. It didn't work with Jacksonville. The way urban Meyer operates, you've got a real coach, a real quarterback, a running back, wide receivers, offensive line. Defense is good. I mean, Jacksonville is is a really good team. Now, playing the AFC, division is is there, right? The division, I don't say it shouldn't be a problem, but it's open. Division's open. They play the right way. They do what they need to do. They'll win the division home playoff game coming their way. Now, AFC in general, that's that's another story. You've got the Bills, the Chiefs, you know, you've got other things happening um in the in the AFC as a whole that will be tough to get to the Super Bowl, but that's kind of the team that they have is win the division, home playoff game, got to win a couple playoff games, get to the AFC Championship. Here we go, right? I make it sound way easier than it is. There's a lot that they have to do, things they got to make right, but at the same time, this team could really do it, and that's why we talk about them a lot on this channel. They fit what we talk about on this channel is that they don't they don't really get talked about. I don't know. I don't know why it's the Jacksonville Jags, whatever. So again, let me know in the comments, a Jacksonville Jaguars all time player that you love that just doesn't get the love that uh, they should have during their time or after or whatever, you know, it, it can be somebody pretty somewhat obvious, but that you, you absolutely love. And um, I love those early Jags teams when they were, when they were an expansion team coming in, I just thought, Oh my gosh, Fred Taylor loved him. Mm. Love the Jags. Love the love Florida. And, you know, Lions and Jags just get along great, too. That's just, that's a great thing, too. I don't know if in nature they do. I'm just talking about in, in the NFL. I don't think they do in nature. Jaguars, you don't mess with cats, basically, is the long and short of this video. Don't mess with Jaguars, Panthers, Lions, Cheetahs. Cats are crazy. All right, let me know your thoughts, and we'll see you on the next one.